And we got Tracy in Austin. How are you? Okay. Hi, Tracy. Hi there. Tracy in Austin. How are you? Oh yeah, you're gonna want to turn that down so that you don't get the echo and the delay. Like okay, okay, we'll do right now. Alrighty. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, that's confusing me. That delay is confusing me. Uh, well, my question is similar to that previous callers. Uh, uh -huh. I was telling the guy there before I was talking to him on getting screen. I was just saying that. I'm not wanting to get into the religious dogma, the Christianity of Muslims and how they've been persecuted and all that, because you guys make a very good point in what you're saying, and I watch from time to time. Okay, but my biggest question is, and I started having these questions, like that dude, my mother died some years back, and I was raised like so many of us were, Christian, or you know what I'm saying, about to Jesus and all that stuff, and some of those days started dying, and I mean basically my whole family just started pretty, pretty much dropping, and I found myself almost alone. So right. you know what happens normally. What happens? Well, then if that happens, then that must not have been true. Everything that they taught me is what I'm thinking. Okay. So then it put me on this 10 to 12 year, I guess, excursion into life and death and life after death. And I've read a lot of manuals about life after death. These people that die supposedly, and you know, they souls and spirits go someplace else. I don't even want to touch on all that as much as what I want to ask you is one question: How do we, as atheists, if you're an atheist, if I'm an atheist, how do I? personally get around the fact that creationists and atheists agree on one thing and not too many people bring this up but we all agree on one thing the whole world agrees on one thing the whole educated world and that is if you go back in time far enough atheists scientists and creationists agree that at some point in time before there was time there was nothing everyone seems to be able to agree that there was absolutely nothing Actually, and, 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 and all I'm saying is this. How did we get here? Because if there's a Big Bang Theory, which is what I'm trying to believe in, which is what I kind of kind of cater to, there's a Big Bang. I have no problem with that. But my question to you is, and I can't believe you don't have this question because you guys are intelligent people. And I know you are. I can hear how you talk. We're, we're ready to answer you, sir. So i got to know in your mind that somewhere, somewhere back there, you've got to wonder what made something go bang. And what I'm getting at is, and I'm sure you've heard this before, what I'm getting at is not a God, not an invisible friend or whatever. No, 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 no. But some type of intelligent design mm. seems to just not be able to leave my consciousness alone. I just don't see how we could come from nothing to nothing. Like the old yeah, song goes, the old black song back in the day, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, I'll stop and, right there, and I just want to know what you got to think and about. And you're that. engaged. That's it's an argument from ignorance, is what it is. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, that's why you have this appeal for intelligent design. First of all, everybody in the world doesn't agree uh, that, about this idea of nothing. And what I'd recommend is that after after the show's over, the first thing you do is go out and Google uh, "Universe from Nothing" by Lawrence Krauss. It's okay. a it's a it's a lecture, a talk he gave at the Atheist Alliance International Convention from 2009. It's going to be about the best explanation of what physicists mean when they talk about nothing and something coming from nothing. Okay. But even setting that aside, what you're basically saying is, I can't see how this could have happened without an intelligence. And that is, that is the definition of an argument from incredulity, argument from ignorance, that I can't understand X or I can't think of a better explanation than X, mm -hmm. therefore X is the most plausible and the one I'm going to accept. And that's simply not true. Intelligence needs to be demonstrated. Okay. And, and it doesn't and by become you the default. Being intelligent, an intelligent being, by the ape being intelligent, by the fish being intelligent, by dolphins being intelligent, I mean, something to me, it, 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 I, I don't know where did it come from. I mean, I mean, is that not a question that you ever is, have in your mind at is, all? Is evolution a problem for you, or are you okay with evolution? I'm okay with evolution. That's well, that's, that's why I got such a problem that, with all my Christian friends, because I'm okay with that neighbor to put me out of their house. But my problem is, but Tracy? I think that evolution had a designer, or some kind of a design. Something said, start from oh, here. I see. And then, yeah, then you don't, don't know what I'm... Window, but I then, began Tracy, something. Began that, something Tracy, man, I don't know. That, that, Tracy, that, what do you think, man? May I? Yes. Yeah, uh, Tracy, but that, that's the whole point okay, of the theory of evolution okay. is how is it that uh, all these different forms could uh, come into existence in all their varied types and with all their varied abilities uh -huh. without intelligence? That's what evolution is about. Now, I know it's very popular for uh -huh. a lot of people who still have an impulse to want to believe that there is a guiding hand behind all of it 
it's very popular for them to say, well, you know, maybe the process is tweaked by an intelligence as it goes along. But but the point, but what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you, Tracy, Tracy, what I'm telling you is the point of the theory is that you don't need that. Oh. That the that intelligence slapped on top of the process of evolution is extraneous and unnecessary. Okay. And if you think it's not, it's because you don't yet have a complete grasp of what the theory is saying. It's like saying that you believe that an oak tree can grow out of the seed, but that you think there's some being who comes along and 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 bends the limbs just the right way, you know, in no, between. No, 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 my it friend. It is exactly like that. That's an analogy, from, we Tracy. We both agree, and we all agree that it came from that damn seed. We know that. Yeah, but, but what I want to know is where that seed come from. <laughs> okay, from so now we're back. Before, well, that's why I asked. That's why I asked about evolution, right? Because if you're okay with evolution, yeah, yeah, then you should be okay with the idea that it just uh, happened. Th no, just a minute. That evolution didn't just happen. There's okay. natural laws that all of the physical parts involved in evolution are following. And what you just said, they're but laws. See, this is the plan. They are so mankind. Because laws come we from call man. Thing, we call things... No, they don't. We call things laws. Maybe it's an analogy. Maybe yeah, it's not. Yeah. Maybe the, the fact that we use the same word for things passed, uh, rules passed by men, and for processes we see happening automatically in nature, okay. right? Maybe the fact we use the same word for those two things is confusing, but they're not the same kind of thing. Okay. Right? Then that's not what I mean when I when I use Yeah, when I talk about law of the ground um, and laws the, of nature, and I, those are like rules and laws. It seems like they're rules or rules or laws, and it they, seems like they, certain things have to follow them. You know they, what I'm saying? Like they, Newton's thing well, of gravity. But I mean, a law seems to have been put into design. Or I don't know, man. Well, I just can explained. You kind of see if, what I'm getting at? Can you kind of see my dilemma a little on, bit, though? Tracy, if you hang on, he'll explain it. Okay, go ahead. Go yeah, on, sorry. yeah. I mean, we just went over that. I mean, it's the same word used two different ways for two different kinds of things. Right? There's a difference is, between descriptive is, laws and, different, and proscriptive laws. 